Each year, students in the Industrial Engineering program at Clemson University complete senior projects. These projects culminate their four years at university and allow them to use their education to benefit businesses in the area. This year, a few students had the opportunity to use industrial engineering in a field that many may not expect, healthcare. This is an extremely, so far, a non-traditional field for industrial engineers. Um, most of the projects, I think there's only a small handful that are not in manufacturing. So a manufacturing environment really produces goods, or as we call them widgets um, in my classes. But here it's about the patients and about their care. The, the industrial engineering side is something kind of new to us. Our, our CEO, our first dentist, Dr. Rob Seyfert, has a master's degree in industrial engineering, so how to run businesses, um, systems and processes. So we thought, okay, we could kind of group with the engineering part instead of you know, just the medical part of Clemson to kind of help uh, kind of learn how to give better patient care and manage our business. So we've been kind of working together on really trying to provide you know, efficiency um, and to give, uh, help save time with patient care. We did a lot of observation, obviously, in sort of collecting data, really to figure out what those major needs were. And then from there, we have created a template of operation, sort of. So there is a best practice document where we sort of noted some practices that like hygienists and dentists, all the practitioners use that sort of maybe work really well for encouraging someone to take treatment on the same day or um, have really just kind of seen positive results that not every practice might um, typically use. Also, we have worked to design a flowchart essentially um, to sort of show how the patient works through the process of maybe walking in, scheduling an appointment, and then coming in and how all that works and how each um, member of the team sort of works toward that. We're hoping that by doing some engineering and analyzing their process and things like that, it will help their flow throughout the building. And if they can increase that, hopefully patient satisfaction goes up. And then also, if you can make the process better, the doctors can take their time and do more quality work. Like Family Dental Health, Make-A-Wish SC can acknowledge that they may not be the typical company engineering students work with. But CEO and President Bill Taylor explains. We think of ourselves as a wish factory, so we think we're manufacturers too. We just make wishes. Our product is hope, strength, and joy through the wish experience. Um, part of making those things happen uh, comes from donations, cash donations from our, our supporters, which is great. The other part of that um, are in-kind gifts. All those in-kind contributions help us, you know, suppress the cost of making these wishes come true. So in-kind gifts is huge for us. In fact, it represents about 30% of our annual budget. So what the fellas and, and young ladies from Clemson are helping us do is come up with a master uh, preferred vendors list. So they have canvassed the state and um, identified um, potential vendors for us that can help supply us the, the raw materials we need to make wishes come true. So they may, they may have a, a list of all the contractors in Lexington County. They may have a list of all the limo services in Rock Hill. So whatever we need in whatever region of the state, we can go to their resource that these, these students have put together for us and identify hot leads. So it, we don't have to search and search for, um, you know, uh, a contractor to help us put something together. They've already got it listed for us and contact information and all that. So um, that's really going to going to expedite us making wishes happen, but also give us an opportunity to get more in-kind gifts. The way we got together with the Clemson uh, Engineering Group was really just kind of 
by happenstance, one of the young ladies who works here for Make-A-Wish uh, is a former Wish kid. And um, she was going to school at Clemson, graduated, um, and then came to work for us. So she really went full circle, you know. Um, but she still had a lot of friends who were students at Clemson and she came to me one day and said, hey, this is happening and I wonder if it would be applicable to us because most of the partnerships that they have are with um, big companies like Michelin or um, BMW, you know, places, manufacturers. Make-A-Wish SC believes that thinking outside of the box, such as working with Clemson industrial engineering students, will help their company's mission. You know, one of the things that we aim to do for our kids is have amazing transformational experiences. And so we don't want to be uh, encumbered by budget concerns. So uh, by having in-kind gifts, we can, we can increase the quality of the wish experience without adding to the expense of it. And so hopefully that's gonna be the end product for the Wish Kids and their families to have an amazing transformational experience. Family Dental Health is already reaping benefits from their Clemson experience. The last few months, we've been able to do more dentistry than we've ever uh, been able to uh, do for our patients before. So I think this project has really helped us uh, come, you know, take uh, our practice to the next level and I think our patients really start to see that. Students are always really hungry to learn. We learn through our partnerships and uh, seeing the feedback, but just observing us do uh, clinical procedures. Um, we kind of spun that a different route this time to kind of partner with industrial engineering and how we would work the, uh, the business workflow for, um, through our office and the management of it. Um, and it's just been, it's been a great project all around, being able to see kind of what they're learning in a real world project instead of just in a classroom. So, and it's really helped us um, grow as a business as well.